Hi! In this video, we will take a look at the Timeline Mode in Laser Show Gen. The Timeline Mode can be used to design a full-length laser show, for example, synchronized to music of your choice. If you want to quickly get started with a free show, there is one included in Laser Show Gen. You can load it by clicking Load Demo Show in the file menu here. This show is called Funky Beat with music and laser design by Jarek Kral from Silesia Lasers. You can zoom in and out of the timeline by using the mouse scroll wheel. There are scroll bars here for panning the view, or you can hold down the control key and drag the view with the mouse. As with other modes, you can hover the mouse over this help button to see a list of all the keyboard shortcuts in this mode, including other ways to navigate the timeline. If you have music in the show, you can see the audio visualized in this area here. Below that are layers of actual laser animations making up the show. There are also some envelope layers here that modify the contents of the layers above, such as their brightness or color. To start playing the show, press space. You can jump to new positions by clicking the timeline. OK, now let's go into more detail by creating a simple show from scratch. First, let's create a new blank project using the New Project option in the top menu. Currently, we have no layers, so let's create a layer by clicking this plus button. Let's also add music to the show by clicking this Load Audio button over here. This is just a short house beat for the purposes of this tutorial. You can see that after we load the audio, it becomes visualized in this area, as mentioned earlier. You can see the beats, which allows you to easily match the animations in the timeline below to the audio. There are multiple colors in the chart. Green represents overall loudness, red represents bass, and blue represents treble. That way you can tell the difference between the kick drums and snares, or the bass line and lead melody, in the music visualization. By the way, right now the timeline is measured in real-time, minutes and seconds. But if you have music, you might want to switch to beat-based timing. To do this, go to the Settings window and check Use BPM Time. Then, match the BPM settings below to your music. The sample we loaded is 107 BPM. If we go back to the timeline, you see that the timeline labels now represent number of bars and beats. If the beats don't match the audio, you can shift it left or right by adjusting this Beat Offset setting. There, now it looks perfect. So, there are two main ways of adding laser animations to the timeline. Either you can import an existing file such as an ILD file or LSG frames file, or you can import animations that you have made yourself in the editor mode. Loading a file is simply a matter of clicking these Import Load buttons or using the File menu up here. Let's load this basic ILD file of a wave animation. It appears as an object on the layer we created. We didn't specify a location, so the object appeared at the beginning. But if we click on a different location on the layer, a red line appears. This is where any newly added animations will get inserted, like this. You can also select an existing object by clicking on it, and if you then import a new object, it will replace the object you have selected. Let's make a second layer and select a location for our next animation. Let's place it right at this beat. We have already covered the editor mode in previous videos, so let's just quickly make a pulsating red circle animation. I enter the editor mode with the tab key and draw it. You'll notice that when I play the animation, you hear the music from the timeline mode, and you also see the audio visualization down here. If you have loaded music in the timeline mode, the editor mode will preview the music from the selected location in the timeline, in the same way as the timeline itself. So the selected location is currently at this beat, as mentioned, and you can see the same beat visualized here. Once the animation is created, you can press the I key or this Send to Timeline button, and it will be inserted into the timeline just like when loading an ILD file.
By the way, if you want to edit an object already on the timeline, you can select it and click this Open in Editor button, and it will open in the editor mode. Or you can also just double click it like this. If you have lots of saved laser files that you want to use in your shows, then instead of loading each individual file, you could use the grid view as a browser. If you go to the grid view and use the Open Folder menu option, you can load all laser files in a folder at once. Then you can quickly send files from the grid to the timeline by selecting one and pressing the I key or clicking Send to Timeline, just like in the editor mode. You can easily move animations on the timeline by dragging them, even across different layers. If you have a longer animation that you want to split into pieces, you can do this by right-clicking on the object where you want to split it and choose Split Here. Let's undo the splitting and just move our animation back to the first beat. You can lengthen or shorten animations by dragging its edge, like this. Note that if you simply drag the edge normally like this, it won't change the actual speed of the animation. Instead, it will simply loop it if you make it longer, or cut it off if you make it shorter. But let's say we want to make the animation shorter by making it play faster and not cut it off. For this, you can hold down the Shift key while you drag the edge, like this. Now it plays very quickly. Let's insert this animation on every beat. We can select it and then copy and paste it using Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V like this. Finally, there's one more important feature in the timeline mode called envelopes. These are sublayers that can modify the main layer above them in various ways. You can create an envelope layer by clicking this NV button on a layer. Let's create one for intensity. A graph appears below the layer with a green line in it. This green line represents the variation of intensity or brightness over time. The envelope is currently blank, so the green line is just a straight line on the top of the graph, meaning full brightness. But if we click two points on the graph like this, we can see that the green line falls down to zero. What does this look like on the laser? The wave animation fades out. We can make it fade back in later by making the graph rise back up, like this. By holding down the mouse and drawing on the graph, you can create as many variations of this effect as you want. As you previously saw, there are many other envelope types that can modify the laser in other ways, such as color modifications, horizontal and vertical position adjustments, and even rotations around the center of the canvas. There is a shortcut to creating certain effects using envelopes if you right-click on objects, such as fading in and out, and strobing. All that these shortcuts do is just auto-generate an envelope like we just saw. Let's say you have finished your show. You can either export it as an ILD file using this button, or you can play it directly on your projector if your hardware is supported. If you have multiple projectors, you can even assign certain layers to play on specific projectors and with their own settings profiles. To do this, first go to the Settings window. In this list called Timeline Mode Layer DAC Assignment, you will see your current timeline layers. They have default names, but we can change their names in the timeline mode like this. Let's name them Primary and Secondary. They now show up in the list. You can right-click this layer and select the DAC you want to assign to it. Once you have added a DAC, you can also right-click on the DAC and choose a different settings profile, if you wish. It is also possible to add multiple projectors to each layer. And those are the basics of arranging a show in the Laser Show Gin Timeline mode. If you have any questions or other tips, feel free to leave a comment below. Have fun!